Hi, welcome to Founders World 2015 here in uh, Pier 27 in uh, San Francisco. And here with me today is Conan Reese. Uh, uh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, um, we do uh, a video game programming language. And when you're, uh, you tell people you're bringing a new language into the world, the first response is generally, you're nuts. You're nuts. And yeah, so absolutely. Uh, we're in the business of doing the things where they say, you can't do that. And we say, yes, <laughs> we can. So it's a very mad scientist ethos. So we call ourselves mad computer scientists. It is, and uh, I think that uh, that worked very well looking at the expo <laughs> floor here and people that uh, surrounded you. Yeah. It works great. Also, I think it's uh, two days after the Back to the Future. Yes. Uh, big, uh, yes. <laughs> Big date, so no, no um, we definitely tweeted about that. Well done. <laughs> Fans of Doc Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Yes. So t tell us a little bit about this language and what uh, what can we do with it? Um, well, it's only taken 20 years to make, <laughs> so it's the next overnight success story. So um, sounds like a great uh, entrepreneurship <laughs> cycle. Yeah. So um, in the video game industry, lots of the different components that you use to make video games, physics, animation, graphics, all those different systems. They're, they're, they're kind of become commoditized. You can get amazing things for free for you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, but the gameplay part of games, generally each company will make those sorts of things from scratch, and then when they're done, they're amazing game and they're amazing tech, they throw it away. And every single game after iteration after iteration, they have to build it from scratch every time. And when I started the industry about 22 years ago, I thought that was crazy. And it made sense that we would make that aspect of game development easier. And a lot of it had to do with things like uh, concurrency, all sorts of things happening at the same time, interactivity. Yes. But, but, but perhaps decode it for us. I know I'm not, I'm not an expert in this, but I know that there are engines like Unity and others that that's supposed to, bring, to give you some platform to, uh, for repetition, right? Sure, but all of the, the tools that generally been used in the industry still are languages that you can add in some of those things after the fact that it's not native to the language. So to make uh, interactive concepts a native part of the language, it dramatically changes the workflow in terms of how people do things. Usually to do a game that, take, that does something that takes time, you have to break up time into tiny little bits and pieces, every frame. And to think about that as us mere humans, it's not a natural process. Yes. That's not how we think. So this language enables you to be able to describe things in a more natural way. These five things or a thousand things happen at the same time. And when you know the first of them completes, do this other thing and cue the music and the bad guys come in and you know, all of those simultaneous actions that are happening, most of the computer languages those are sort of add-on things from the operating system or, you know, it's just to describe it takes pages of complex code. It is. But with Skookum Script, you can describe the same sorts of things in just a couple of lines. So um, the uh, understanding of being able to, like the main problem in software engineering is we're stuck with the brains that we have. Yes. And we have to fit only what we can, you know, hold in our brains. So if you can do the most interesting things with a very short amount of, of code, then you can do, you can fit a lot more in your head. And also, I assume that you have, you, you, you can put less energy into the engineering yes. and more energy into the content and the innovation and the, yeah. and, and the difference that you want to bring. Precisely. And uh, would, would that be something that is ready for, uh, to roll? What would be the call for action for, for anyone that wants to take a shot at this? Um, well, it's been evolving in the games industry as sort of an in-house tool for many years. But we thought now there's the time to get it out across the entire game industry. So uh, we're just starting to release it. We've been doing it sort of in a closed beta. It's hooked up as a free plugin with the uh, Unreal Engine. And that is supposed to be on their marketplace as a code plugin in a couple of weeks to a month or something like that. So everyone will be able to get it for free and start using it and playing with it. And everything that it does is also in real time. So unlike a lot of languages, you can type in some code and see it immediately, what, how it's changing things. So if some character is acting in some weird way, instead of shutting it down, making your change, recompiling in some of the big projects, it's half an hour to rebuild. 
in Scoop and Script, you can make your change live while the game is running and see the little guys that you have running around acting and behaving Life in a different change. way instantly. Where do you find uh, this product? What do um, people... Scoopandscript.com. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and, and, and soon on the uh, Unreal Marketplace as, awesome. a, as a plug-in into their development system. And it will work on all platforms. Excellent. That's, so. uh, that's great and good luck. We are yeah. looking forward uh, to that. Uh, perhaps a few words about your background and uh, how did you... Um, about your professional background? Oh, uh, so I've been in the video game industry for many years. Um, I, started, I, I studied uh, cognitive science and AI, and so the big part of what I've been wanting to do is make it easier to have the computer take on as much of the effort it can to help us develop things, right? I mean, languages and stuff that we've worked with uh, used to have to work on systems that were really underpowered, but these days everybody has a supercomputer on their phone in their pocket. Yeah. So there's no reason that the computers can't do more for us. So I've always thought about intelligent agents and AI, and so I'm trying to bring that sort of uh, intelligence into languages and compiling and uh, the, the, what you describe, your, your crazy ideas of the stories they want to tell to put into this. My, my, my background is I started at uh, Electronic Arts in Canada um, had my own company, made the first sort of language, got a big government grant to do it. Uh, got, went to LucasArts here in San Rafael and worked on some languages there. Actually made a language called Chewy Script after Chewbacca uh, because he's the engineer in the Star Wars universe. So if you got an error, it would go <laughs> and um, then uh, went back and started working on Skookum Script and that was in 2004 in Canada. Wow. And uh, so it's uh, then used it internally on, in um, United Front Games and their uh, Sleeping Dogs game. And now they're, that was a big open world game. And now they are using it to build uh, Triad Wars, which is a massively multiplayer game. And now we want to get it so that everyone in the everyone. entire uh, game development industry can use it. And even outside of games too, robotics, uh, aerospace industries, anything that does real-time automation, automation would benefit from this game. Any high-level sort of stage direction type of stuff. Outstanding. And uh, perhaps uh, I will ask you the same identical questions we ask everyone. Uh, what's your favorite or most used Google product? Uh, well, like many, it's probably, you know, just search. But, <laughs> I mean, we, we use Google Analytics. It's hooked into our product yeah. to, to uh, track and uh, figure out how things are being used. And uh, very soon, hopefully, lots of Android use because with games, uh, there's going to be lots of uh, people writing Skookum Script uh, Android games. Looking forward to it. Thank so, you very much, Conan. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>